What's going on guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Quite a beat down on this Thursday morning, fresh off the school bus. You know the routine. So, uh, today will be a, kind of a long walk and talk because we're going to talk some history. Uh, a little bit of history. And uh, there's kind of a reason for it. So, uh... My YouTube journey is nothing new. It's not recent. Uh, I started my YouTube channel back in, I believe, 2004 or 2006. Now, I say started my channel kind of loosely there. Uh, whenever you make a Gmail account or whatever, uh, it automatically, you know, you automatically have a YouTube account because it's all connected. Now, back then, I don't know if it was all connected. I don't remember if there was a merger later on or what. But my, my actual main channel name is my actual name, Michael Thorne. And I think that's because it connected it with my Gmail account. I could be wrong. Uh, it's been a lot of years. But instantly, after that, you know, instantly, I made my other account under the same account. You know how you can make different channels under the same account. But uh, anyway, Mikey Sun, M-I-K-I-E-S-O-N, Mikey Sun. So that became my, my main username, Mikey Sun. And uh, at that point... <laughs> I mainly did that to be able to comment and like on videos. Probably. Again, it's been a year or two ago. So, uh, it was shortly after that I started uploading some videos, uh, probably around 2007 to 2010. Somewhere in there. I uploaded a couple of workout videos here and there. Different stuff, even way back then. It was around 2007-2010. And just maybe a, a... And then maybe like a couple of personal videos, like a family video or just something goofy or something. Literally, I, you know, that's it. So it was two, th and that, that, was, that was all I ever had on there. So come 2016, I, I finally get my first, you know, bike, you know, at that age, more as an adult with a, a goal in mind. Uh, I wanted to cycle. I wanted to road cycle and get out there and ride and do something I'd wanted to do for years. So. February 11th, 2016, I got my first real road bike, and it wasn't long after that that I started posting videos. Oddly enough, I started posting them more on, like, Facebook. I was even doing live streams as I was riding on Facebook, and some stuff like that, but, uh, so 2000... We'll say mid-2016 to late-2016 is when I really started taking Mikey Sun uh, seriously. And when I started doing that, the only goal I had in mind was I just wanted to share my experience. I wanted to share my rides. Uh, if we got into some discussions and different things, you know, on our rides we share it there but then it quickly you know and I had no other plans really at the time no, nothing else really clicked but it was almost instant I was like people make money doing this I could use some money I don't make a lot of money so 
at that moment the wheel starts turning and uh, it goes from just a simple channel to I'm really pushing out content I'm starting to learn how to edit videos and do different things and really trying to uh, entertain people I quickly came up with my hey how's everybody doing today I'm doing well thank you for asking type of thing and get up get out get ready and do it to it I kind of came up with that not too long after and I'll if I can remember in this conversation I'll tell you where the the first part come from hey how's everybody doing today I'm doing well thank you for asking anyway I'll try to remember and uh, give you the history on that. So, anyway, Mikey Sun TV, quickly, I was thinking, you know, a lot of people make some money. I'm not looking at making great money. If I can make $100 a month, yeah, it's $100 a month. So, I start clicking, and I start pushing my channel, and I start putting out more videos. And... Instantly, I'm thinking merch. Okay, what can I do? Oh, shirt. A lot of people do shirts. I'll do a shirt. So I kind of came up with shirts, simple designs, crude, weird, you know, nothing major. I sold a handful here and there and different things. And uh, it was fun. Uh, starting out, kind of, you know, thinking, ooh, I'm going to be the next big thing. And that's funny. You go from... You go from zero to, I'm going to be the next big thing real quick. So Mikey Sun, uh, the channel Mikey Sun uh, in incorporates uh, every kind of video you can imagine. It went from just cycling to everything I enjoy. You know, bicycle rides, video games, uh, family gatherings and stuff that we did, and uh, movie discussions, reviews, uh, cooking, taste tests, uh, everything. Probably singing, karaoke, or not really karaoke, but anyway, trying to sing and just, yeah, art projects and, and just all kind of stuff. And I thought, man, this is going to take off. Well, Mikey son, so soon uh, after, not soon, but uh, a few years later, I ended up renaming it Mikey Sun TV. Well, why did I do that? Because the general rule of thumb with YouTube is have your channel and have it about one thing. And just maybe things that like correspond to it, that kind of connect to it. You know, like say Body Beatdown is about health and fitness, working out and all that kind of good stuff. But, you know, you can incorporate, you know, food in there. You can incorporate even kind of mental, kind of, and physical ailments and different, different things. So the general rule of thumb with YouTube is, why is this always wet right here anymore? That's what she said. They must have a leak there or something. Anyway. Um, yeah. General rule of thumb is keep your channel centered around one topic. Well, I don't want to do that. Because I want to be an interesting person. I like being interesting. I like people to, you know, see all the different things and experience the different things and, and all that stuff. So I eventually put TV at the end of Mikeyson. Why? Because TV incorporates everything. You turn the TV on and you get everything. So I put TV on there in hopes that it would just kind of give people the, the idea. Oh, okay, it's like TV. You watch this channel and there's no telling what you'll get. Okay, so anyway. Come 2021... So I'd been pushing Mikeyson, uh, the Mikeyson channel from 2016, we'll say, 
until 2021. Now in 2021, I also started working out. So now we got all that going on on Mikey Sun TV. But come around maybe the fall of 2021, I started the body beat down because I thought, well, okay, I'll go ahead and make this channel. We'll call it a sub channel. So we'll make this channel about health and fitness, you know, and, you know, things that pertain to that and make me happy and all that kind of stuff, which goes into drumming, possibly singing if I did, or, you know, my action figures are, you know, kind of, because that all kind of connects a little bit there. So, so I make the body beat down in probably fallish of 2021, and I'm, th and I'm still thinking, man, it sure would be nice to, if I could get some subscribers and have a, a popular channel be the next big thing. I think we all, we all want to be the next big thing, you know, and in our minds, we are, in our minds, we're, you know, we have a chance. Well, let me tell you, we can, let's just say we've been pushing Mikey Sin and the body beat down since 2016. And here it is, 2023, almost 2024. Well, Mikey Sun TV don't even have 500 subscribers yet. And the body beat down is getting close to 700. So, I have put out a couple of thousand videos nearly on the body beat down. And probably twice that on Mikey Sun TV. Now, a lot of my body beat down videos, I also just upload to Mikey Sun TV. Just to kind of keep that channel going and maybe people interested over there. And uh, sadly, I just get mostly trolls. Seems like. But anyway. So. This whole dream. That some of us start with. And then quickly go into like the bigger dreams for this social media stuff. It just don't work out. It don't pan out. Uh, it's just luck of the draw. Luck of the straw. Luck of the draw. I don't know. I forget words. It's just luck. It's by chance. You got some guys my age and older that'll start a channel. I mean, literally... Making videos twiddling their thumbs and they'll have a million subscribers. You know, and then you got people, say like myself, that have been grinding and grinding and grinding and pushing. Thousands of videos, thousands of hours doing this. And we'll get 100 subscribers, 500 subscribers. We never get anywhere. Now, let me backtrack just a hair. Let me backtrack just a hair. Again, I didn't start Mikey Sun to make money. It just quickly evolved into that. Not make money, but to hopefully just make a little something. Not money as in bling, bling. But I thought maybe if I could just make a few bucks. And that same thing with the body beat down. I thought... You know, maybe if I can just make a few bucks, it'll help with, you know, buying new cameras and buying some more equipment and buying this and that, you know, keeping the channel updated and going. And then you quickly, and then you kind of go into, ooh, the big time. You know, I'm meant to make it. I'm the big, I'm a big star. I'm going to make it. Why am I not making it? That's what it quickly turns into. Why am I not making it? That's it. I'm going to stop doing this. I'm tired of doing all this work and not getting anywhere. That goes through your mind time and time again. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? I'm not getting anything from it. Dang, that dude's crazy. Slow down, home slice. What's up with you, man? What's up? Anyway. So... 
the whole YouTube thing, the whole social media thing. <laughs> Dude's crazy. <coughs> anyway, the whole social media thing is crazy, guys. <sighs> you know, I'm on the fence. Sometimes I'm sitting here blaming all these little attention-seeking girls that are flip-flopping all over the internet, getting all the views and all the attention and everything. And I've spoken out a lot about that over the years, in the past. You know, and it's not just the girls' fault. They're just capitalizing on what they got. It's all the people that support them. That's the problem. But having said that, like I said... You also got 70-year-old people sitting on a porch, twiddling their thumbs. You know, they have all the subscribers in the world. And people comment, man, I just love watching this. Man, it's just so peaceful watching this guy twiddle his thumbs. Man, I got, I got to share this channel. We're going to get it out there. Let's support this channel. He twiddles thumbs like nobody else. Then you got younger people that... And people exploiting little kids and capitalizing on that. And uh, you just, you have this wide range, this crazy field of just different people and different things that are making it. And you're still struggling, you know, years later. All this time and effort later and again it's not it's not just about money because that's not why I started my channels or that's not why I started taking my channels seriously Mikey son and the body beat down I think why I took them and started pushing them in the first place but it quickly evolves to that like I said so But it would be nice to be, you know, kind of reimbursed a little bit by these channels because although I don't have a huge following, I do have some sort of a following and I do bring in some revenue for YouTube. And I'm probably for sure bringing in Motley Crue a little bit of revenue <laughs> as much as I play their music in my videos. So, over the years, and this, this has been going on for years, you know, should I keep going? Should I keep doing this? Should I keep pushing out content and taking my time and effort? Because it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. Especially editing the videos. Especially making a thumbnail for the videos. That's the time consuming. Shooting a video is nothing and uploading it's nothing. It's when you put in time to edit the video. And I've had thumbnails. I've worked on thumbnails. That's taken me longer than shooting the video and editing a video. And that's another thing. You see yourself putting in all this time and effort and getting nowhere. You see other people do basically nothing and they have you know all the subscribers in the world and a busy channel and you know they're probably making some scratch and, and they're doing hardly nothing and again the females have it easier if you're even a decent looking female all the way to a holy crap you're amazing looking female you got it easy not just on social media but in life all you gotta do is bat your eyes and show a little interest in anybody at all and boom you got it I know I've seen it I've, I've seen it I got a girl a, a family member that's all she has to do is and show her fake boobs and she's good she got people taking care of her, her whole life. 
So you got people like that, they have it so easy, they don't have to try. You look at TikTok, you look at shorts, you look at uh, the reels, all these short videos and all this stuff. You can scroll by them and see girl after girl after girl, legs spread open in the camera, thumbnails, boobs, skirts up in the air. And I know I'm kind of on a, I'm kind of on that topic, but that's been a sore topic of mine for years now. But it is, like I said, it's a ride, it's a wide range of different things. It's not just the girls doing that. It's, like I said, also, you know, you'll have guys doing stupid things. And a lot of guys do that stuff just to get the attention as well. Stuff like gym fails and just stupid pranks and things that you can tell are, are not real. They're staged and they're just kind of stupid and just different ignorant things that people will watch. People watch the dumbest stuff. They'll push aside good content with some meaning and some heart. All for the most ignorant nothingness that you can put out i know i see my i see my wife watch it i see my boys watch it i see everybody watch it it's the most ignorant content worthless nothing to it content that you can watch that's what people want to see that's not what i'm going to put out now i don't mind goofing off and having a good time and Maybe even have a spoof little goofy video periodically or what have you. Or, that's fine. But your content should have some meaning, some context, some, some heart, some passion behind it. I see what people share on their social media. Say Facebook, for instance. I see what people are sharing and supporting. And it's just garbage. It's absolute garbage. Just stupid stuff. It's stuff that they don't they don't come up with themselves. They don't they don't have anything really to say themselves. They share garbage. Or if they share like some positive some sort of positive words or something, it's always someone else's words. All these stupid memes, different little things that they share. Share your own words. Share your own thoughts and opinions. Even if it mimics the thing that you're sharing, share your own thoughts. And that's why I've given up on Facebook. One reason. Another reason is I just kept getting thrown in Facebook jail like every other week for a month at a time, weeks at a time, just for speaking my mind about stuff like this and girls being exploited on there and obesity being accepted and unhealthy lifestyles being accepted and speaking my mind on it not sugarcoating it speaking my mind and being punished for it you know i wasn't cussing i don't cuss people i don't talk dirty or nothing but i'd be i'll be like really blunt about things and i'll get punished for it So I haven't I don't I haven't posted on Facebook as far as my own timeline in months. I don't care to. Uh, I take part in groups and I try not to get too wound up in some of that stuff because again, things get heated. God, I don't even know where this is all going. Anyway, that's what she said. <laughs> God, I love saying that. But anyway, I guess what I'm trying to get at with this video is putting out content year after year, or we'll say day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year, we'll do it that way. It takes as much heart, dedication, passion to keep spinning your wheels in the dirt and going nowhere. It takes as much passion and all that to do that as it does 
working out and trying to live a decent, healthy lifestyle. I get frustrated. I want to quit all the time. Over the years, you know, it's just been, do I really want to keep doing this? Do I really, am I getting anywhere? And it's not just about the subscribers and how many you have. It's about having an active community. And I've preached about this back 16, 17, 2018, and so on and so on. That even if I had 100 subscribers, if those 100 subscribers actually took part in the channel, that'd be amazing. Because that's what it's about, the community and taking part in the community. It's not just about, hey, look at me, I have 100,000 subscribers. I have a million subscribers. I'm making $500 a month. I'm making 500,000 a month. No, it's not that. It's who's taking a, an interest in your channel and, you know, really being a part. And I think that's, that's just, that to me is really important. And I feel like I do have a handful of people that take part in the community. Now I'm closing in on 700 subscribers. I don't have 700 people commenting on my videos. And that's what we're talking about. Now, if the 700 people took part, that'd be pretty cool. Because that would make YouTube take notice. You give a thumbs up, a quick comment, good job, nice job, inspiring, cool, amazing, whatever, something quick. Maybe share, you know, share the video, share the channel. It's an ongoing fight, guys, for those of us trying to make it. And that's another thing. I also do this stuff to kind of leave, not a legacy, I wouldn't call it a legacy, that's going a little far. But to leave my mark, to leave something for when I die, if it's going to be around then, who knows. But, you know, people can go back and see this and say, man, he's pretty cool. You know, he did some cool stuff. Or, gee, maybe we should have supported this channel while he was alive. <laughs> It's for my family to go back one day. Since they don't take part in my channel, they don't they don't really watch anything and support me, never have. Outside of once in a while, I'll get one or two sisters to pop in and say something. Very random, very rarely. But, uh, yeah, my family don't take part. My kids, nobody takes part. So, you know, it's me kind of doing this for me, which is, I guess, how it should be. But you do wish that people would take part. So, anyway, guys, this is a long video. Good luck. Whew. I've been out of breath the whole time. So... You know, for those of you that make content and you're still struggling to kind of make it, I feel for you. I've been there for years now. For those of you that start a channel and you already have 100,000 subscribers, congrats. Let me know the secret. Please. Guys, if you find something a little interesting with my channel or my channels go check out Mikeyson TV as well M I K I E S O N TV look in the playlist though you don't want to look at the body beatdown stuff over there you can do that on the body beatdown go check out the playlist and see all kind of groovy stuff that I've done over the years discussions like this all the way to everything you can imagine so, if you found something interesting, inspiring, maybe uh, like, share, subscribe, comment to the Body Beatdown. 
And again, Mikey Sun TV if you want. Whew. Dear Lord. And don't forget, guys. Even if you're a deadbeat channel and you're frustrated and you're years in the in the effort and trying to make it, don't forget. Get up, get out, get red. Do it to it. Maybe one day the persistence and passion will pay off. See y'all later. Get up, get out, get red, and do it to it!